First one, uh, what's the relationship or the association of this uh, graph? Grant! Negative. Negative. Excellent. So we'll just take this and write a big old negatory. There we go. Good. So number one is negatory. Number two. What is this one? Josh. Excellent. None. Association. Okay. Okay. Uh, also, you know. All right, th this table shows the average annual cost of one pound of chocolate chip cookies. So, uh, since the year 2000, uh, notice these years up here are just talking about the number of years since 2000. So, what year was it in year zero? 2.59? 2000. 2000. It was 2000. Very good. Okay. What year was it in uh, the ninth year here? 2009. 2009. Okay. So uh, what year corresponds to zero years since 2000? Well, it's 2000. I guess we did that. <laughs> and nine. What the heck? If the data were displayed in a scatter plot, oh, this, would this show a negative, positive, or no association if we were to graph it? No. How many of you say positive? One too many. How many of you say negative? Let me say no association. What the heck? In the year 2015, would it be reasonable? Uh, which one would be a more reasonable prediction? Would you expect it to be three dollars and twenty-five cents or four dollars? Probably four dollars. Okay. Here's the reason why is because you can see up here yeah, in year 2009 oh. it's already at about 325 so you're expecting it to go up because of the positive association and eventually it should be up to 4 bucks. We've got our x up in here. What is the label for the x axis? Average cost. Dawson. Years. Years. How do you know it's years? Because it's time. Very good. What's the label for the y-axis then? Average cost. Average cost, very good. Okay, so if we were to graph this, we got years 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 -er. And then this is going to go up to about, uh, I don't know, 4-ish. So notice at 0 right here, we're going to go up to about 2.5 right up in here. Okay. And then for one, we got 2.8, so it's right about here. So what we need now is draw a line of best fit. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that, all right? So I'll start up in here. I draw a line, put an arrow on it, bam, there we go. And in fact, some of you may not even notice this outlier down in here, okay? Uh, but that's why it looks like they have this slanted so much. But there's quite a few different lines that I would accept on a test for this. Maybe it's just a little bit more uh, not as steep, okay? Uh, a downward slope would not be acceptable for this one, but uh, maybe something more straight across like this. When writing an equation, all right? Start out always with, what the crap? Uh, give yourself an x, and then all you've got to do from here is find the slope and the y-intercept, okay? Uh, this is where your slope will be, and then you're just going to add your y-intercept right in here, okay? 
So if the y-intercept is negative, just make that a minus, okay? And we just went, we went through this at the beginning of class. This hopefully is just review for you because if it's not, then it may be a little bit more difficult. But if we look at this line of best fit, let's look at this one, okay? If we wanted to, to draw uh, write the equation for this, okay, the first, let's, so for this example, let's go ahead and get our equation started. I got our y equals, y equals something x, and we'll just fill in the rest, okay? Uh, to find the slope of this thing, uh, you might have to estimate a little bit, but it looks like I've got a point right in here. And I got one right here as well, okay? So from 150 to 275, that was an increase of 125. And it went to the right, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six in this direction. And it looks like that would be... Uh, yeah, it's going to be tw uh, 20 and it's five, six. I don't know, 20.17-ish, okay? So I can make this, uh, I just keep it as a fraction. 125 over 6x, and then what is my y-intercept? What does that point look like about there? About 85, 85, 90, sure. And you just plus 90, okay? So if we were to write this outside up in count, you know, y equals 125 over 6, x plus 90. Again, you don't have to use 90. Uh, maybe you got 85, like we said. That'd be fine. to do right now is we got to say well y which is the graduation rate should be about 10 sevenths what is x in the year 2020 well this is years since 1998 so that would be about 12 years after that right? I'm sorry that's uh, 22 years my bad 22 and then you're going to add the 60 okay so 10 sevenths times uh, 22 <coughs> It's about a 3.30, it'd be about 90, I don't know, maybe 91%. All right. Now, since this is an estimate, all this stuff is an estimate, your answers are going to vary, but I just need something close to, for example, 10 sevenths is the slope, <coughs> and the y-intercept being 60, okay? 